Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video guys, I'm going to tell you how to install this Matexis GPS module with magnetometer onto your flight controller and to your drone frame. This drone frame guys is Rooster 230 and the flight controller that I'm using is PDB F7 version 2. I have already done the unboxing review of all the three components, GPS flight controller and this drone frame guys. If you have not seen those videos, I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. So guys, if you're new to assembling drone, ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share. Before we move further guys, if you're new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications of all my new videos. Let's get started. So guys, before we can start installing the GPS onto this flight controller guys, let me walk you through on how I'm going to install this guys. Here on this flight controller guys, here you can see here you have 5 volt and ground and then T6, R6, STA and SCL. So these are the pin guys that I'm going to use to install the GPS 5 volt and ground to power the module. T6 and R6 for the GPS and SCL and SDA for your magnetometer guys. So that is how your GPS module with magnetometer is connected onto the flight controller. And on this drone frame guys, I am going to put the GPS here onto the top front side guys. Onto the back side guys, I have already installed the DVR. So I will put the GPS here using the DST guys and I will be zip tying it up so that it stays at its place. And also it is away from any high powered lines so that it does not get its magnetometer working incorrectly because of the high power wires which are going around it guys so which is why guys this is an ideal place which i thought to keep the gps module and install it here now guys let's quickly see the gps module before we can start installing the gps module so guys this is the gps module itself i have already done the in-depth review guys as i have told you before an unboxing of this guys so i will move quickly through it so as to give you just an overview in this video so as to be able to start with the installation process so guys here is your gps module itself this is a very small gps module which comes with inbuilt magnetometer here onto the top side guys here you have an arrow guys so as to be able to know in the direction in which you are going to install this gps module so this should be ideally pointing on to the front side of the drone so that is how you need to install for some reason guys if you are not able to install in that direction guys so ensure that you know in which direction this arrow is pointing so as to be able to configure it correctly inside the firmware of the flight controllers so that is also super important guys here on to the front guys here you have two leds one is for power and one is for gps lock so that is how you know this module has got the gps lock or not on to this side guys you can see it has the pin diagram 5 volt ground rx tx D and CL. So those were the pins on the flight controller as well. So you need to connect 5 volt and ground so as to power this up. And then TX goes to RX and RX goes to TX of the flight controller. And then SDA to SDA and SCL to SCL. So that is how you are going to connect this GPS module onto the flight controller. Onto the back side guys, there are two sides JST guys, but only one side JST works where you have this pin diagram mentioned onto this module guys so ensure that guys you connect only to this side this jumper connection that it came with so it comes with a six pin jst so as to be able to connect this gps module onto the flight controller onto the back side guys here you can see there is a small battery as well so that in memory it saves the last gps location and the satellites which it's found uh, when it was operational so next time whenever it powers up it quickly finds out the satellites and get you the gps lock so this is it guys this is the gps module itself and it comes with this shrink cable cover so whenever you connect this jst you can secure this using this shrink cable cover that came along with this one so let's quickly install this gps onto the flight controller so guys before we install this gps let's put the shrink cable cover and connect this JST connection. So ensure that guys, you whenever you connect this JST, it is in the right direction. Otherwise you will damage the pins that you have in this JST. So connect it properly so that it stays secure as well so that you do not have any problem with the connection later. Also guys, let me walk you through the color coding of the wire so as to be able to know which wire is going to go at which place. So the red and black is your five volt and ground. Your yellow is your RX. Blue is your TX, white is your DA and green is your CL. So this is the, how your wire is configured onto this module guys. Now let's quickly put the shrink cable cover and then solder these wires onto the flight controller. So let me cut this 
quickly on to its length so that it covers exactly to its size so that is how we are going to do it now since we have already connected the wire i will insert this module inside this shrinkable cover push it all to the way to the back so that it stays and then cut down the extra part and now let's quickly shrink it so as you can see guys i have successfully shrink this gps module inside this cover so as to protect it from any damage or scratches as it will be installed onto the outer side of the drone frame guys so let's now quickly connect these wires onto the drone frame so guys now let's quickly solder the wires as you can see guys my gps module is here i have put a shrinkable cover just to tie them up together so here you have guys blue and yellow wires yellow is your rx on your gps module so it will go on to the tx pad and blue is your tx on the gps module so it will go to the rx pad so here you can see guys i have r6 and t6 so my blue is going to go on r6 and yellow is going to go on t6 so that is how we are going to install it let's quickly solder the wires so blue is soldered and then yellow on to t6 because this is the rx pad so yellow is soldered now your black and red is your power and ground so let's solder them too so first is ground so ground is soldered now the power so my tx rx power and ground is soldered now scl and sda so your white wire is sda and green will go to scl so let's solder them too So green is soldered now let's quickly solder the white wire so the white will go to sda so this is it guys this is how you install the gps all my ports are now connected now all we need to do is give it a twist so that it stays all together and they don't mess up with each other now guys let's quickly shrink it so that they stay together using the shrink cable cover so guys as you can see all my gps wires are now connected let me stick the gps here onto the top using the dst by putting a dst onto the back as you can see guys my arrow is marking onto the front this is the front side of my drone guys so this is going to be aligned straight forward like this so let me do that quickly so this is my dst guys i'm going to stick it on to the back and then guys remove the back side cover as well so as to be able to stick it so i will put it in the center of it like this so that it stays and all the wires are tied up so This is how you install the GPS onto the drone frame guys. So this concludes this tutorial guys. In my future videos guys, I will also be telling you how to configure this GPS and magnetometer into the firmware of this flight controller guys. So ensure that you stay tuned to my channel. So this is it guys. This concludes this tutorial. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, please do not forget to hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try and answer as soon as possible. If you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching and clear skies.